are watching shares in Cameco, which was one of the best performers on the TSX for a time today. Let's get more on the uranium miner and some other market movers. We're joined by Bloomberg's Stephanie Hughes. Uh, what's the latest on Cameco, Stephanie? Sure thing, Andy. So Cameco shares rose as much as 4.7% today. And as you mentioned, that was enough to put it among the or on top of the best performers list on the TSX today for a good chunk of the trading day. And that came after National Bank Financial initiated coverage on the uranium miner with an outperform rating uh, alongside a few other uranium names uh, today as uh, given just the recent exuberance around nuclear power. So the analyst said that the renewed focus, uh, global focus on nuclear as a uh, low carbon energy source is really bringing the uranium space uh, into greater play right now. Uh, they added that geopolitical tensions are affecting the uh, supply security and there's just been general underinvestment in mines and projects since the Fukushima incident in 2011. So both of those factors are putting upward pressure on prices. Further to that, uh, last month we saw the largest uranium producer, Kaz Adam from, uh, deliver a 2025 guidance that fell short of expectations. So that's really also adding to the supply demand uh, dynamic there, imbalance, I should say. Uh, National Bank also gave a newly initiated outperform rating to other names like Next Gen Energy and Denison Mines. So uh, they've really given the uranium, na uranium name some uh, glowing reviews right now, Andy. It's interesting, Bloomberg has a story that something like a dozen reactors in America closed over the past decade, and fans of nuclear want to see them reopened. But it's messy. Uh, some have been damaged, and some are being dismantled. So it's going to be hard to revive those old plants. But apparently there's one, they want to get a mothballed reactor in Michigan going by late next year. But the technical challenges, as you know, with nuclear seem to be never ending. Um, let's have a look at Rio Can. What's the story there? Sure thing, Andy. So Rio Can, those shares are up as much as 3.6% today. Uh, that was the biggest intraday gain since December. And it came after, uh, so the, it's rising in tandem with other uh, real estate investment trusts uh, just because the Bank of Canada delivered the third consecutive rate cut today with a uh, 25 basis point cut. That's quarter of a percent, bringing uh, the trend-setting policy rate down to 4.25%. So Rio Can uh, manages retail and shopping center portfolios. Uh, so real estate just in general and uh, yeah, like including the commercial real estate side, uh, they tend to be more uh, rate sensitive. So it really wasn't surprising to see just this group uh, rising higher today. But yeah, it gave Rio Can uh, quite a lift. I'm not sure, actually, control room, I forgot to ask you if you could put up the Toronto Real Estate Index, uh, uh, because, Stephanie, I was looking earlier at the best and worst performing groups um, this year. Now, uh, over the past three months, thanks, control room, over the past three months, the TSX Real Estate Group is the best in, in the composite. It's up about 17% in three months. So investors really are apparently buying into that interest rate uh, uh, reduction story. For sure, yeah, and it seems like it's, uh, uh, in my mind, it's maybe sentiment driven at first until we see the full impact of the rate cuts work their way through the system. But yeah, it's uh, as soon as uh, these investors get a sniff of rate cuts, uh, they see rate sensitive sectors like real estate being mm -hmm. uh, the first to benefit from that, Andy. Yeah, that's right. And um, I'm just looking over the past three months. What else? Uh, yeah, the utilities are up about 6%, not as much as you might think. Um, but the, um, yep, the com uh, communication services, including our parent company, BCE, still a laggard, up only about 2% in three months. Thank you very much, uh, Stephanie. It's always great to hear from you. Thank you. Bloomberg's Stephanie Hughes.